What's up you guys, hey it's Dr. Buck and in this video I want to talk about N95 masks. I know a lot of you use N95s, I use N95s, we've been asked by our hospitals and hospital systems and administrators and everybody to use them sparingly and as many days as possible and all that good stuff. But I have a little study for you today that shows that N95s are really not great to use multiple days in a row. So let's take a look at that and discuss, shall we? All right, we're gonna to go to the desktop here. And so we've got this, um, this was a study that was done. It's a small study, I will say that, but it was done to see our N95s okay to wear on a multiple day basis. And essentially this was, um, this was presented at American College of Emergency Physicians 2020, their conference. So this is not, um, you know, it's a small study, but it's not a nothing study. So it's pretty cool. So essentially these physicians, so this was uh, Ronald Check at St. Luke's University Hospital in Bethlehem, uh, Pennsylvania. And they evaluated the mask that had been reused by healthcare workers in a single uh, center trauma unit. They recruited individuals who had been assigned masks that were of the correct size already, okay? And they had been fit tested. So for five days, researchers evaluated masks using the OSHA uh, qualitative fit test guidelines. So they took a look at basically, are these masks holding up, right? You know, and a lot of you guys know when you get fit tested um, for the mask, uh, you know, they, they spray something, and you, if you can you smell it or not or whatever. So uh, basically they're doing that test. <clears throat> and for the first 58 masks evaluated, they found 9% of the masks failed on day one, right? So that's, but that's only one of 11, so not a ton. 6% failed on day two, so uh, one of 15. And three, um, on, sorry, on day three, 50% of the masks failed, so seven of 14. So um, on day four, the failure rate continued to climb with four of six failing, day five, five of 11 failed. So they went on to do about 115 masks total and they found about the same problem is that day two, after day two, the masks started to fail a lot more. So I think that's really significant because a lot of people will keep them, you know, more than two days. Uh, honestly, I have kept mine way more than two days because I was like, okay, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have problems, I need to keep these and I don't mind, it's me or whatever. So um, I, I was keeping mine like way more than that. So, uh, but, but I think the interesting thing is even on day one, some failed. So uh, this suggests that disposal N95 respirators should be only used, uh, should, be, should be safely used for two shifts. So two, basically like two days, right? Um, Anyway, it goes on to talk about the PPE needs and all that good stuff, but rates of mass failure after multiple days of use are staggering. Um, so they talk about, <clears throat> you know, obviously, if you're gonna go on to, to use them day three, four, five, then you have a really low rate of that mask being uh, actually working for you. So I think this was a small study, but at least somebody is looking at that and thinking, hey, um, you know, should we be doing this? Because initially, kind of CDC and stuff was saying, you know, use these as much as possible. We're gonna have a shortage. We're not gonna have enough of them. And we really need you to, you know, keep reusing them. So uh, this is, you know, sort of a uh, little bit of a wake up for maybe a lot of administrators or whatever. Um, I do wanna point out that, um, that uh, Megan Rainey, she does, she is the co-founder of the Get Us PPE, and I'm going to go to this website, which is cool. We get personal protective equipment to those who need it most, and essentially it's all donated um, PPE and either PVE or money and all that stuff. So that's uh, pretty awesome. So thank you for doing that. Um, and yeah, if you guys uh, are using your N95s more than a couple days, don't do that. So... Um, maybe another study that's larger would show different results, but uh, since we don't really have much else, I think this is good to go off. And intuitively, it makes sense anyway. Like, um, you know, they get all floppy and a mess, and, you know, they're supposed to be tied around your, your face and stuff like that. So 
Um, I would lean towards saying that this is probably correct, you know, could you do bigger studies? Yeah, you can do bigger studies, but I think. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Don't forget, if you are a student who's struggling uh, to focus and concentrate and take tests and speed read and things like that, I do have a study course. It's studyhackers.com. You can go there. It's pretty cheap. Um, I teach you tons of stuff. It's like 10 hours of video of teaching you how to study and hang in there and focus and concentrate and build those habits that you need if you want to go into medicine or any <clears throat> or really any discipline. You don't have to be going into medicine to get the course. It works for engineering or in mathematics or whatever like that. So thank you guys once again, and I'll see you in the next video.